let's learn how to make flowcharts for Arduino programs. First of all, why even bother? Why flowcharts? Well, a flowchart is a diagram of an algorithm. So it helps you to visually show a program. It helps you and others to understand the concepts behind how your program is meant to work. It helps you to find problems in your idea. And it helps you to find problems in your code because you can compare your code to your flowchart plan, your high level abstract flowchart plan. And it helps you to communicate your program idea to others without getting bogged down in those really low level uh, details like semicolons and brackets that are part of code. We will make a flowchart, uh, an example flowchart for this scenario. So we've got a potentiometer, which is a knob that's used to control a motor. And when the potentiometer, the knob, is all the way to the right, the motor should be on full power. And if it's all the way to the left, the motor should be off. If the emergency button is pressed, the motor stops and a buzzer turns on. And the motor is controlled through PWM, so pulse width modulation, meaning that we can output 50% power, for example. But the motor power is limited. We need to make sure that um, the duty cycle of pulse width modulation, the amount of power, uh, does not exceed 40%. And for simplicity, we'll just plug the motor directly into the Arduino digital pin and ground. In reality, you would not do that because it would draw too much current and you would need a motor driver. But this is just to show you flowcharts. This is what the circuit looks like. There's the knob and I turn the knob all the way up. After a certain point, it no longer actually increases the amount of power. And when you press the button, the buzzer goes off and the motor goes to zero. So that's the scenario over there on the left. Here is an example of a flowchart that uh, could be used to describe this program and how this program would work. Let's go through it bit by bit. First, I've got the same structure that I would have in any Arduino program. The program starts. The setup function runs once, then the loop function runs, and then the loop function runs again, and the loop function runs again and again and again. Notice that I've got this function here called setup. And the beauty of using a function is I can describe that in detail elsewhere in the flowchart. So let's describe this function in detail. In this case, I'm only describing two functions, setup and loop. But if your program is complex enough, you might need more functions that you've made yourself. Here's a setup function. The setup function just needs to set the pin modes for this program. The loop function runs over and over again. I will first read the value of the potentiometer to know how far that's turned. Then I will read this button, the pin that's corresponding to that emergency button. And then, aha, important, a diamond for a decision. This is a decision, or in code it would be an if statement. I'm checking something. What am I checking? What's the condition? I'm checking if the emergency button is pressed. And if the answer is no, I go into this branch. And if the answer is yes, I go into that branch. Important, note that these branches are labeled to show which is which. In the yes branch, if the emergency button is pressed, I need to turn the motor off and turn the buzzer on. If it's not pressed, let me just double check, was that right? Yeah, that's right, that's good. If the emergency button was not pressed, then I turn the buzzer off because I'm not pressing the emergency button. I set the uh, variable based on the potentiometer. So the variable should be zero if the potentiometer is all the way to the left and 255 if the motor, if the potentiometer, the knob is all the way to the right. So I've set that variable. And then I check, is it bigger than 100? If so, change it so that it's 100 because I don't want the motor power to be too high. I don't want it to be more than 100 out of 255. In other words, I don't want it to be more than about 40%. So if it is, I'll update that variable so that it is 100 and not anything bigger. And lastly, no matter what, I write that motor power to the pin that controls the motor. Hmm. So that is the flowchart. And you might be wondering how that relates to the code and what the code would look like. Well, here is one I prepared earlier. Here is some code that matches this flowchart. I will just whip through it pretty quickly. 
because the focus of this video is not actually teaching you the code, it's just the idea about a flowchart. So here's my setup function that sets the pin modes. Here is the start of my loop function. See, this is a function called loop. And I need to read the potentiometer, read the emergency pin, save them in a variable somewhere. I've got my if statement, and notice again that if statement is a diamond and the branches out of it are labeled. So I'm checking, is it safe? Is the emergency button pressed? Um, if uh, the emergency button is pressed, do these things. And if not, do those things. Another if statement, checking if the motor power is too high, and if so, changing it to be 100. And finally, writing that motor power to the pin that controls the motor. I hope this has been helpful to see how you might uh, create a flowchart to describe an Arduino program. As always, if you have questions, let me know and I'll help you out. Bye everyone.